Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! And, uh, well... Time for us to make our way back to that car. The cable car. This way. Just make our way past some birds. Nobody likes you, birds. Buzz off, buzzards. And everything got all blinky from the earthquake. Oh! Jill's looking around like, why does this happen to me? And then the floor gave up from under her. And now to get out of the way of the incoming, uh, cargo. Piece of cake. This way, pick up these grenade rounds. You might notice I'm traveling substantially lighter than you may have expected. There's a reason for this. And, uh, well, that reason is kind of the... got... has got top billing on the game name, after all. Uh you know, with the other Resident Evils, I found that the more I played them, the more I liked them. This was true for Resident Evil 1 and 2. Resident Evil 3, I've found, is becoming the opposite. And it's very specifically because of Nemesis. So, I've, I've decided that for the rest of the playthrough, I'm not going to fight him unless forced to fight him. Chiefly to keep to keep myself from uh, rage quitting. But speaking of fighting nemesis, just drop the save state there and uh, see if we can't get around the jerk. Because hello, sir. Oh! Pardon me. I'm out of here. Screw you. If I had stayed and downed him, then he would have dropped the other half of the, uh, parts for the upgraded shotgun. Uh, well, that's just gonna have to come later. Because that's actually how it works. Whoa. That. Ah. Hmm. it. That's unpleasant. Great, sewers are collapsing. It's all I need. What the? Oh! Okay, maybe there's a reason that they're having problems. From that on, get out of here. Same over there! And now we wait patiently for the ladder. And now we very casually climb up the ladder. Because that's how Jill rolls. Alright.
Enough of this nonsense. Let's get out of here. Shove this in there. Shove these in there. Shove this in here. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Woo! What's this? Yay! Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. Yeah, let's let's get going. Good news, Mikhail. We're getting out of here. Mikhail, however his name's pronounced. It's looking good. Yay! What now? Mikhail! I'll check it out. Mikhail! Oh, for the love of... Nope, 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 nope. Get out of the cable car, now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Alrighty. Uh oh. I'm really glad he had an alternative to looking like me fighting Nemesis. No, the brakes are out. Uh, that could be a problem. Whoa. Uh, um. Let's get out of here. It's useless. Hopefully, Carlos got out of that okay. Oh, where are we now? Hmm. Wow. Those run over here. Take this too, and we're out of here. Woo! Find those. And make myself the best ammunition for fighting Nemesis. Because whether I like it or not, I will have to fight him later. Figures. Alrighty. You made it! Hint. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. I suppose you have a point. Here's a gift for you. Hmm. 
Woo! Thank you, Carlos. Shove the flame rounds in there, and... Come around here and pick us up a postcard. Fox! Alright then. What we got here? Ooh. New toys! What we got? Ah! We actually have ourselves the instructions for how to call the helicopter. We need to make the we need to make the clock tower ring. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, uh, no thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Open that door, so I won't have to go through that room again anytime soon. Yeesh. Set this down. Those powders that were up by the uh, train wreckage, if they weren't there, then odds are they'll be in this room. Oh. Hmm. Knows what that was all about. Oh, what that was all about. Usually the flame rounds are, are good enough to take out those zombies, but, uh... Nope. Oh well. Ah, uh, birds! Out of the way, birds! It's likely some herbs kicking around there, but, uh... No. I want to deal with those. Instead I get to go come upstairs and deal with spiders. Isn't that great? I hate spiders. Don't like him in Spelunky, I don't like him in this game. I don't like him in real life either. Funny that, huh? <laughs> oh. Let's clean up some vegetation. Ah, off it goes then. On up. What do I got here? Gears. Powders. And a puzzle. Alrighty. Let's see what these switches do. Our actual objective is to, uh, match the song. It really boils down to flipping the switches so that it'll all be in tune.
That one's fine. So is that one. That one's alright. That one's okay. That one isn't! Chain. Combine it with the with the clock tower key to make the Chronos key. Doesn't appear to be anything there. So uh, we shall shove things in the box. As you know, that's what it does. Switch you out for that. I'll switch you out for that. Pitch you in there. And next time we will continue. Later.